Using the cavity risk assessment is simple. At the top of the form, you and your patient will find the contributing risk factor section. Have your patient circle either yes or no to all of the contributing risk factors. You can find specific information on how each risk factor contributes to caries in your suite information or online at mysweettooth.com. In the next section, you can mark the severity of each clinical condition or direct the patient to circle the color or number that applies. After these sections are complete, record associated numbers in the right-hand column. The numbers for each contributing risk factor are located in the lower right-hand corner, and the clinical condition numbers will match the numbers circled. You can now total both sections. Looking at the colored line, mark an X where the patient's total number is located. Green indicates low risk factors, yellow to orange indicates moderate risk factors, and red indicates high risk factors that may call for a more aggressive solution. On the back of the cavity risk assessment, you will find recommendations for your patient's oral health care routine. Here, use your clinical expertise to determine which routines would be most beneficial for your patient. The color-coded routine chart should correspond nicely to the level of risk you and your patient discover on the front. Now that the form is complete, it is ready to be scanned into your patient's file and go home.